I've been traveling a little bit, so I'm a little tired. I ain't get a chance to get my hair done within the last two weeks. First of all, I miss all of y'all. I miss all of y'all. I miss my beautician as well. Now, I did hear a little beef about Deacon Merriweather because he liked to have his hair like this. So, I'm just saying, James Brown, he can get a pass because he's James Brown. Okay. Uh, Al Green, he can get a pass because he's Al Green. All right. Ask yourself, Al Sharpton is one of the greatest preachers I ever heard in my life. So, Al Sharpton, get a pass because he's Al Sharpton. And now, answer those things. Now, they can have a nice, relaxed hairstyle, but I can't. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. I know there's nothing wrong with this. I try to keep it good. I try to keep it good. I try my best. All right. But I'm not going to stay on that. I'm so glad to be back. Now, a couple of things happened. First of all, I went to TBN. If you're not familiar with TBN, TBN is the network, the biggest Christian network on cable television. Now, I went there. And I had expectations to be able to preach to millions across the world. However, as I went up there... The security guard didn't even let me in. I said, security, security, my name is Deacon Merriweather, and I would love to get the word of God. <laughs> and I said that to the security guard. And the security guard looked back at me, and he said, you better take your black butt somewhere else. You ain't got no pass here. I didn't get it, and I ain't even trying to understand. So I said, sir, I'm going to pray for you, and I'm just going to preach to everybody that walked by. So I said, yeah, Lord love you. If you're saved. If you're not saved, I can help you out. Oh, the Lord loved you too. Yes, the Lord loved you too. So I did my thing outside of TBN. I do want to say God bless the TBN. I know the brother was doing this job. I just want to leave you with one little nugget though before you leave. Now, you cannot invite, you the one can invite sin in your life. People always say, uh, I struggle with this. Sin is that to me and sin is this. Sin will be coming up to you. Yeah, I'm sin. I'm going to get some of this. I'm sin and I'm going to get you, you. You better get some of this sin, boy. Get some of this sin. No, sin don't do that. Okay? Just like how you invite Jesus in your life, that's you can invite sin in your life and it just mess you up. What you need to do is finally invite Jesus Christ. I know some of y'all probably don't care for my personality. That's all right. But one thing I do know that I love the Lord. Now, if you need to invite Jesus, you just let me know. And I'm going to sign off. Um, I want to thank the boy down in Florida. They did a wonderful job on that song. They did it like within two minutes. And they know I got a song for my show. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm boys, I'm going to give you a dollar for each for, them, for the, the show. And uh, God bless you. And we're going to take care of Take me out, boys. <laughs> Go take it, go take it, go take it.